Yeah, excellent. So if you just like to tell us what your business is, what problem it is that you solve, any particular desirable offer it is that you have. Um, and I suppose I should disclose right now that I have just moved to NBN. And yesterday we were absolutely okay until the last five minutes and then I was dropped out. So if I do dis disappear, uh, one of you is going to have to dance or sing until I can make it back on again. So uh, I'll let you guys fight over who's going to do that. Uh, so if any of you have got that particular skill, maybe let us all know now. Uh, it's really cool to see some people jumping on, some familiar faces and some new names too, which is really cool. I always say uh, it's good to, know, to meet more strangers every day. All right, so I think we'll get started. That's about uh, normally three minutes is what I like to, to wait. Um, so yes, you've all come here today because you would like to create an online offer that sells on Facebook. Um, and that's incredibly important right now because Facebook use is up by 70%. So the good news is, is that 70% more people are onto Facebook at the moment, which means you could be in front of them. Uh, the bad news is, is that everybody's on Facebook trying to sell their wares at the moment, which means unless you do it well, uh, you may not sell. Hey, that rhymes. Write that down. If you do not do it well, it will not, may not sell. All right. So let's just have a look. Oh, that's, that's not even working. Right, cool. If you don't mind just keeping yours on mute, if you don't mind just keeping it on mute, and we will just keep all our questions to the chat box now. However, if it is an emergency, please feel free to unmute yourself. I mean, like an emergency, like I'm talking too quickly and you want me to slow down or something, uh, then just let me know. So we'll just make sure that you are all on mute so we don't have the background noise. Uh, we are recording this just so that you know it will be recorded. Um, but I am super excited. For those of you who know me, I get so, so excited. Um, and I just wanted you to know that you are in the right spot right now, which is awesome. And today, this is my promise to you. I am going to show you how to create. And these words are important. And today you're going to learn about the importance of words but how to create a valuable, desirable customer and outcome-focused fo outcome online offer that your customer cannot say no to, okay? Uh, who would like that? Just put up your hand. Do you, do you know how to raise your hand? I mean, not like this, but you can raise your hand in Zoom as well. Here we go. We got some thumbs up. Uh, awesome. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Um, but yeah, so have a look at those words uh, and just take a moment to consider whether or not the offer that you have right now, if you have an offer or a previous offer that you did once have is valuable, is desirable, customer and outcome focused. Now, why customer focused is important is because we know the value of it, but does our customer know the value of it? Are they ready for you? Because sometimes they're just not. If they do, oh, hello. Let's go. Let's have a look here. It just jumped ahead. Okay, right. So my promise is I'm going to show you the exact offers that my clients have adapted and how they're getting clients. Uh, and we've got one of them on here today. So hopefully uh, she, um, she is going to be okay with me sharing her wares on here. Uh, the other one was unfortunately not able to make it today. So I am going to show you. If you hang around today, I will be showing you. And I will also be dispelling three myths as well. But your commitment is to actually just, just show up for today and just give me a little bit of your time, put everything away, give me your undivided attention. Uh, because if you do miss out on the smallest steps, so for example, even those words, if you miss out on one of those words that I mentioned earlier, your offer will fail. If it's not valuable, not desirable, not customer focused, not outcome focused, uh, it will not work. So if you actually just, if your NBN fell out right now and you just took that away, um, you would get improved results with the offer that you have. All right, so sorry to bore those who do know me um, because they would have heard this a few times now. So this is the time for you now to possibly just consider what offer it is that you have and whether or not you are already getting closer towards making it desirable. Um, but I'm Chantal Girardi, a qualified and award-winning Facebook strategist. Um, in 2008, I moved from the Gold Coast, I moved from Durban, South Africa to the Gold Coast with my twin four-year-olds and a one-year-old with my husband at the time on a working visa. So I wasn't actually working, but he was made redundant twice. And with no marketing budget or startup, I had to teach myself Facebook to get clients and create opportunities. 
And it was in a saturated industry as well, because everyone goes, oh, my industry is so saturated. Um, yeah, well, there's a lot of saturated industries, believe it or not, as much as we think we're special, we really aren't. Um, there is one thing that makes you different though, and that's you. So five years um, after teaching myself Facebook um, to save my family, literally, um, my PT business was doing so well that I ended up opening up a health, wellness and fitness center. And what happened was the subcontractors and the other businesses within the facility were struggling to pay me rent because they could never get clients. Um, and what I started to do was run weekly meetups to support them. Whenever I couldn't find a speaker, I used to <laughs> just stand up and present and speak because that's what I love to do. Um, and it was always on how I used Facebook uh, in my business to get clients to create opportunities and grow my business. Um, and after six and a half years of doing both businesses, I walked away from the gym industry, which was March last year. I sold my last partnership. Uh, because I wanted to help struggling business owners who were overwhelmed with this new era of using Facebook. I wanted to show them that they could do it themselves. I've now helped over 300 businesses, and those are the only ones that we can sort of track um, worldwide on how to use Facebook safely and effectively. Those are my two very important words, uh, safely and effectively. And the next two words are to create income and scale in their business. Um, and I'm going to show you a few things as well. So who of you knows what WAFTAM means? Put up your hands if you know what WAFTAM means. Okay, and now if you object to swearing, please close your ears. Okay, WAFTAM is waste of fucking time and money. All right, you can open your ears again. Um, and what I like to say is waste of Facebook time and money. And this is why I'm trying to help prevent everybody from that. So here's all the things I did wrong. This is, these are my WAFTAMs, okay? And just see if you could resonate with any of these. I wasted money on supposed quick fixes and false promises from generalists. And I can tell you right now, there's a crap load of generalists that are creeping out from um, underneath the works. I downloaded every free ebook and watched every YouTube video, uh, and I either didn't understand it or I didn't implement it. I wasted heaps of time trying to do everything that somebody suggested, but it got me nowhere. So you know when you take little bits and pieces from everywhere and you try to put it together and you hope that it's going to work, um, or you try and band-aid it? Uh, and I believe it or not, I actually irritated people because I did a lot of spammy things. Um, and you would have seen some of the spammy things come, coming out at the moment. Uh, there's a lot of people that are inboxing complete strangers uh, and trying to sell to them uh, without even saying, hello, how are you? Uh, this is one of, one of my worst favorites. Um, but I stared aimlessly at the screen, hoping for a different result um, and getting the same pointless results. And I did this too. I don't know if some of you have done this one, but business coaches have this thing where they tell you if you want to be uh, seen more on Facebook and if you want to grow your branding on Facebook, do a live every day uh, and see what happens. Uh, but guess what? Disappointed. And this is the real kicker. And this is what most of you on this call, I'm sure, are going to identify with doing. And that is providing heaps and heaps of valuable content, which people keep telling you to do, but no one's seeing it or no one's appreciating it. And guess what? It doesn't feed the family. So if you can resonate with that, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, sad face, I'd love to see it. So today I would like to show you the easy way. I'd love you uh, to show you a way that works. Okay, so what does online success look like? Um, you know, and before it would be Facebook success, but now it's online success because literally we have to do everything online. Okay, so imagine, just feel this for a moment. You jump out of bed every single day and you're excited to serve your, your clients. You have the knowledge and the time to effectively create content on, on Facebook. You have an easy to follow action plan. You enjoy spending your 20 minutes online connecting with your perfect clients that come into your business. New opportunities are created through Facebook. Uh, and when people go opportunities, some people don't know what that is. So I put some examples in there. 
uh, speaking opportunities, events, podcasts, interviews, radio, TV, collaborations. Uh, these can all be created through Facebook. Your business has increased visibility and stands out from your competitors. So you become known for what it is that you do. You are happy, your clients are happy, and more clients and opportunities present themselves. That would be amazing. And you get paid your work, you are in demand, and your business has the systems in place to run smoothly and to scale. So who would like that? Who would like that to wake up every single day feeling that? It all just works. It's 20 minutes on Facebook, you get up and it just freaking works. Um, and it's not soul sucking, okay? It's not soul sucking. Thumbs up, yes. Um, one of the most, and, and this is gonna be another myth that I'll, I'll give you right now as an added bonus, everybody think, seems to think that you have to do everything on Facebook. And you don't have to do everything on Facebook. You only have to do the things that are gonna get you the result that you want, which should be income. You don't just play on Facebook for nothing. So would you like to know how to get clients without spend, spending your lives or your money on Facebook? Okay, definitely. I definitely don't want to be spending my life on Facebook. And the irony is everybody seems to think that that's what I do. Uh, and I don't. I do not spend my life on Facebook. All right. So simple success. How does that look? You have a desirable offer that someone is prepared to pay for because it solves a problem which is causing distress or disease. So disease. So you think about it for a second. If it is desirable, then you're not, you don't have to sell, which is really cool. Uh, and people are happy to pay for something if it's desirable and it solves their problem, which is really cool. You know who wants it and where they are on Facebook. And you use Facebook's free capabilities along with the right key messaging, which are your words, and the correct etiquette, because we understand our Facebook works, to market it to them and to get a yes. An easy yes, not a no. Believe it or not, we're on Facebook to get yeses. Who would like more yeses and less noes? Hell yeah. All right. So these are things to consider. And believe it or not, uh, I came up with these things uh, when I was having a, a conversation with an Uber driver on the way to, to the airport, the Uber driver said to me that he'd run multiple businesses um, and that he was using uh, this Uber opportunity to be able to start a new business. And he said, what would you say are the things that I would need to do if I was looking at a new opportunity, creating a new opportunity? And these are the things that I actually came up with. Um, number one is what lights your fire. Because if it does not light your fire and you do not enjoy doing it every single day, uh, people are going to feel it and you're not going to have a, a wonderful life either. So if it does not light your fire, so for example, uh, I absolutely hate technology. Um, and, and if I went out and got a job that was technology and I just took a job that was technology, I would absolutely hate it. And whoever I was working for would actually absolutely hate me for trying to do it because it would be an absolute mess. So you first start with what absolutely lights your fire. My example is, is that I was a school teacher, I was a swimming coach, I was a personal trainer, an aerobics instructor, um, I was a triathlete coach. So everything I've ever done has always been motivating, inspiring, and educating. That is absolutely lights my fire. From a front position leading is, is where, what I love. So consider what absolutely lights your fire because you wanna create an offer that's going to be around that so that it's enjoyable for you. Number two is, what do people already know, like, and trust about you? Now, this one's a bit of a toughie. Um, and actually, my daughter did an online church service the other day, and she came running out, and she showed me the piece of picture, the, the picture that they were working on, and there was a picture of her lying in the grave, and then five words next to it, and I went, oh, that's a bit dark. <laughs> and she said to me, Mum, what they did was, they said, if, when we die, what do we want to be remembered from, for? And these are the things that people already know, like, and trust. So if you did pass away and people stood up and they said things about you, what would be the, the common things that would keep coming up? Because those are the things that people are obviously recognizing you for and already know, like, and trust about, uh, about you, which is awesome because it's, it's, a, a, it's a less further reach for you. It's a much closer reach to getting a yes. So we need to consider 
what are those things? Number three is uh, what problem do they have that you can solve? So what problem is it that you solve? It's so easy for you just to solve that problem, but you see everybody else struggling with it and you see other coaches just not getting the same result. Like, what is that problem? Um, and for those of you, I did say, if you want to take screenshots of these slides, if you like, um, so that you have them, uh, please feel free to go ahead and do that. So number four is, who are those people who would pay you for that? Now, this drives me a little bit nuts because whenever I say to somebody, uh, you know, who's your product for? They go like, I'm a life coach. Uh, well, who's your, who's your ideal client? Oh, everybody. Well, the reality is, is not everybody is ready for you right now. They may not want you right now. They may not be ready to pay for you right now. They may not be ready to receive the training it is that you would give them right now. And it doesn't matter how amazing you were, are at what it is that you do. If you were giving that to them, they would not pay for it and they would not be ready for it. So we want to think, who, think about who are those people who would pay you for that. And we want to focus on that. We do not want to be putting our desirable offer in front of people who are not ready for you and are not ready to pay for you. Okay? And number five is, then go and make a valuable, desirable, irresistible customer and outcome-focused offer. And I cannot, 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 cannot use those words enough because each of those words mean different things and they're incredibly important when putting your offer together. How is it going to be valuable? Not for you, but for the client. How is it going to be desirable? Not to you, but for the results that you've gotten personally in your life, but desirable to them because we have to meet people where they are at. Where they are at. Meet them where they are at. We sell them the idea of what it is that they want. We market to them according to what it is that they think they need, but we give them what they need. I hope that that makes sense. Irresistible, so filled with loads of bonuses, okay? And it is customer and outcome focused. Okay, cool. All right, so who wants accelerated success? Thumbs up or give me a yes. Accelerated success, because right now we want a quickie, right? We don't know how, how long COVID's gonna go for. They say that there's been a, uh, you know, it's getting better, but, um, and they're lifting uh, non-essential shops next week. So what's gonna happen? Because business is gonna change after this. I reckon online businesses, a lot of them are actually gonna stay online. Um, and some of them will go back to one-to-one, to one. but whatever happens, you're still gonna have to know how to create your offer and how to adapt your offer to suit people and meet them where they're at. And this is how we're gonna get accelerated success. Okay, and once again, please feel free to either write this down or take pictures of the slides. Number one is stalk yourself. You have got to know how you look online to everybody else. You may think you, you know how you look online, but you, need, you really need to look objectively as if you didn't know yourself and you stalked yourself online. What is the perception you would give to people? And if it is fluffy and if it's unclear or if it's confusing, it's not going to translate to customers because people have to make a choice in giving you money over somebody else and they're not going to choose you if it's unclear. The next thing is to stalk your competitors. Have a look at what everybody else is doing because in order to stand out from them, you need to make sure that your unique selling point and your point of difference is forefront. There is no point if you're an accountant going, I'm an accountant, I do tax returns because every accountant does tax returns. So who gives a hoot? So we have to look at what the competitors are shouting from the rooftops and we've got to make sure that what they're shouting, we don't want to be shouting. We want to be shouting what's more important to the customer, what they care more about. And we've got to know what that difference is and bring it to the top. And like I mentioned earlier, you are part of your unique selling point. There's a thousand accountants, all of them do tax returns, but you, the person who has to work with the other person, you are unique. So you need to be in your social media. You need to be showing your unique selling point and you in your Facebook. The next thing to stalk is your previous clients. So if you have a look at your previous clients and see how, how, how well they're doing, identify whether or not they've progressed or if they haven't progressed, what additional support can you give them? What more can you add to your offer? How more else could you assist them? 
Why is it that they did or didn't get their results? And then we've got to stalk our prospective clients. Who are those people that are prepared to pay for you? And we've got to see where they hang out on Facebook. Where are they? Where do they hang out? What language do they use? What are they interested in? Because a relationship is two-folded. And if we want to take money from people, relationships have to be two-sided. Um, in the chat box below, guys, if I am a stranger to you, um, please could you put in the, in the chat box, if this, if this is the first time that you've actually been live with me, because um, I do see some familiar faces, but I see some new names. But if, if this is the first time you've been live with me, please put a hey stranger in the box for me. That would be awesome. Oh, I can just imagine right now, if all the other people that attend my, um, all my live trainings are saying, what about us? <laughs> FOMO. Okay, so for all of those that, are, um, that attend all my stuff, please put in there FOMO. <laughs> um, okay, so number two is brain dump your income opportunities. Now, I'm telling you right now that if you want accelerated success and if you actually want to make money, from what it is that you do, you need to stop doing what it is that you do and you need to first go and work out how you're actually going to earn money from what it is that you do. You actually have to look at what the, firstly create the offer and you've got to work backwards on how you're going to get a yes to people to that offer. Now your income opportunities could be anything from one-on-one -on -one coaching, group coaching, membership site, um, guest blogging, Webinars, like whatever those are, you need to put it all down. I'll put it in a big spider graph, put it out in a big spider graph, then create desirable offers. And then the third one over here is you then have to monetize your desirable offer. And this is the working backwards. What is it that you need to do in order to get money at the end? What are the steps? How are we going to develop that relationship? How are we going to nurture online relationships? How are we going to um, get a yes from them in the end and how are we actually going to get them to hand over that money and what is the process that we're going to do how are we going to automate that as well because you don't want to manually be doing all of that and then number four is go forth and get them um, and that comes down to the strategy and that's that whole funnel and people hate that f word funnel they don't a lot of them don't get it but the word funnel is really the customer journey from the time that you first touch them and they get interested in who you are and what it is that you're offering, that journey that you take them on until you finally get a yes and they pay you money, we need to document that entire thing because that is the strategy. That is a strategy that you can replicate, that you can reproduce, and you can refine so that you can actually make money. Now, the thing is, is that everybody does it wrong. They all just go onto Facebook and just spit all over Facebook and hope something's gonna happen. All right, and one of the hardest things out of all of this is that people just genuinely don't know how to effectively communicate what it is that they do, okay? Effectively communicate what it is they do. Now, in your, in your heads and in your lives and with the people you work with, you know exactly who, you know, what it is that you do, but people struggle with effectively communicating it and especially in the written word. Because when I'm talking like this, I can see your faces, I can see your mannerisms, I can see how you're responding, and we can get a sense of how you're feeling when you're talking. And that helps us to understand what it is that you're saying. But with the written word and with the images that you put on, it's very difficult for us to understand what it is exactly that you do. And if someone doesn't know what it is that you do, that's not their fault, that's your fault. It means that you have not shown it clearly enough. Social media is not about being fluffy. It is about being 100% um, clear. So number one is share your story. And I, can, I cannot say this enough. And people go, I did my share my story. I shared it last year when I, when I started my page. But we forget that we get new subscribers all the time. New subscribers on your Facebook page, on your personal profile, in your groups. Um, and people forget. And the way that we build relationships is by sharing your story. So we need to, at least I would say, share yourself, your, your business backstory, your why, your passion, at least once a week, if not once a fortnight or once a month. Number two is relevant content. And by providing relevant content, it is topical. 
It is trendy. It is relevant not to you, but it's relevant to your ideal customer because it's going to attract them. Attraction marketing, if you must. Um, and it shows us that we care about our audience and it shows us that we care about the people that we are wanting to bring into our business. And that's how we strengthen that relationship. Number three is share your point of difference. And I touched on this earlier when we spoke about your, comp uh, your competitors and sharing your point of difference. We don't want to be shouting what your competitors are shouting. We want, to comp we want to be shouting or sharing on Facebook what it is that you do differently and why they should choose you over everybody else. And guess what? It's perfectly okay if they do not choose you. There is somebody for everyone. So number four is showing your expertise and problem solving. All right. So um, this is a true story. I had um, a gentleman. He must have had about two Let's Chat calls with me. He kept talking about his business and he couldn't understand why I was charging what I was charging when he said he could go onto YouTube and download a video. Um, and then last week I had another gentleman who called me and said, would I set up his page and set up a, uh, an ads funnel and everything and make him a million dollars in a week? It can't be that hard. Uh, everyone else is doing it. And, and I said to him, if everyone else was doing it, everyone else would be a millionaire. If it was that simple that I could just start a page, throw a thousand dollars on Facebook ads and make a million dollars and it would all happen, we'd all be millionaires. It doesn't work like that. It's all about relationship building and trust first. But the reason that you can charge what it is that you charge is dependent on whether or not you can actually solve somebody's problem and whether or not you can share your expertise with them and show the expertise that you have over and above everyone else. So number five is giving social proof. You wanna make sure that you share testimonials and reviews from your other clients because people want to see what uh, the results that other people are getting. Um, and not only that, but they don't wanna hear you <laughs> tooting your own horn but they also want to be seeing from other people the results that they've, been, that they've gotten. Number six is by engaging in your audiences. So how we effectively communicate with what it is that we do is engaging with our audience. And that is by responding, by commenting, by following up, by getting involved in conversations or inviting them to have a conversation. And number seven is the call to action. And this is a huge one that people, people often neglect. It doesn't need to be a salesy call to action at the end. It just needs to be something that is going to get engagement, that's going to prompt them to take action. And that action could be just to look at your reviews. It could be just to ask a question. It could be just to give feedback. Um, but we want to encourage a two-way conversation so that it is a mutually beneficial uh, relationship and it's not all one-sided. Um, okay, cool. Let's have a look here. Okay, so here, this is really exciting. So these are the three myths here today that I'm going to dispel about Facebook, that everybody thinks about Facebook. Um, but firstly, I would like for you to share, uh, I haven't had a look over here, let's just have a look. So you've got, has anyone got a desirable offer right now that they're selling? Yeah, there we go, Lisa Corrick has got a desirable offer. Um, yep, she's made it super easy for everyone. It's a great call to action, 30% discount using code COVID. Um, so she, she's got an offer in there. That's cool. Um, let's have a look. Excellent. Cool. Just having a little look over here for Team Mom. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Remember that your uh, pitch needs to be different from everyone else's. All right, cool. So let's get on to those, those three myths today. And in here, I am going to be showing you as well uh, some of what uh, people are doing right now. All right. So myth number one is, um, and I'm going to dispel this. The right person will buy the right offer presented the right way online. Okay? There's three aspects to that. The person, the offer, and the right way online. Because if you do it the wrong way online, they will not purchase the offer. Uh, another colleague the other day gave me an example of somebody did an offer. They put it online. Uh, she tried to contact them. The offer, the link was broken. She private messaged them, couldn't do it, couldn't find it on their website uh, and was desperately trying to find this offer that it was that they had, um, which smells dodgy to me. But you've got to make sure that it is done the right way or it will not work. There is a wrong way and a wrong way uh, gives distrust 
And when there's distrust, you've probably lost that person. So number two is you do not have to spend hours and hours online doing every single thing you've ever heard of to get a client online. You only need to spend about 20 minutes a day. And to tell you the truth, it is a bit longer when you're first starting out uh, because when you do that stalking and the strategy at the beginning, which are my two favorite S words, when you're doing all the stalking, doing all the strategy, it's going to take a bit of time. Not only that, but you're going to do a bit of testing and trialing. But once you have all of that, you have an income producing strategy, which is going to get results. And number three is you do not have to gamble your hard earned money away on two things. And that is one on Facebook ads and two, it's on outsourcing to somebody else. Okay, you the business owner, the best person to do it. And I am going to show you today. Okay, so no, number, myth number one is no one will buy my offer. Okay, and usually this is because uh, your customer avatar is, is wrong. And right now, this, that's generally what's happening is because people are still trying to take their same offer and sell it to a different, uh, sell it to the same person. But the person that they're selling it to is going through something different right now. Okay. I don't know if you know, but in the last, uh, this week and the previous week, people have been uh, able to access their super, which means they are investing in coaching at the moment, which is super cool. So we need to know our customer avatar very, very well. And if they change, we need to adapt and change with them, okay? We need to look at their age, their de gender, their demographic, their needs, their wants, fears, aspirations, objections. Objections is huge. You have to handle objections in your offer. Uh, pain points, you've got to consider their earnings um, so that it can be customer, it can be customer, and outcome <laughs> customer solution and outcome focused. Okay, my example, for example, is what I'm doing here today which is I'm a Facebook strategist. I've identified here that people's pain at the moment, they've had a change in their pain, um, and that's their inability to use Facebook and to market themselves, their inefficiency to deliver their services online. Because with everybody being rushed to get online, people have been making mistakes. They've been making mistakes setting up their Zoom, they've been making mistakes with their links, with their payment links. So that what they thought they were charging for something, money wasn't actually coming in, or they weren't actually capturing people's email addresses, or they didn't have their data system in place, so they couldn't actually follow up on those potential leads. Um, and they're unable to book clients or take money online. I'm working with so many businesses at the moment that have just been, they're capturing leads on Facebook because I've been working with them, showing them how but now they're actually unable to book those clients or to take those monies. So I've actually extend my offer and extend, extend my hours to my clients to be able to include additional things. And that is the capturing of that money and the capturing of those leads. And if you stay till the end, I'm gonna show you an added bonus that we've thrown in because of that. And again, it's just about recognizing a pain and doing the solution. So as I said, so my offer then is going to change. Because right now, people will invest in their ability to successfully use Facebook if they can get clients and if they can develop, deliver their programs online because re realistically, they won't have a business anymore. At the end of this, they will not have a business or they'll have to change their business um, or their competitor will have all their clients. Um, so yes, we are forced right now to accelerate our online success. No income versus investing and getting ongoing clients. And Mel, so Mel is on call today. Let's just have a look, see if Mel is on here. I'm just going through the list. Yes, Mel is on here. So Mel came to me, so here's a perfect example. So the reason I'm doing this is to give you this example um, of Mel. She hasn't seen these slides. So <laughs> um, and Mel came to me and she is a photographer in Canberra. And she said to me, I'm a photographer, what do I do? I take product, photog uh, product photos, it's a huge part of my business. I can't really do weddings and stuff right now. So, you know, what do I do? So I said, cool, let's have a look at your new offer. Okay, so let's consider her clients, all right? Her clients who sell products online. Right now they need money and they have to sell their products online. But what do they need? They need good images to upload regularly onto the e-commerce sites, onto all their social medias. Okay, because those with good images can sell products for more. And products change, they keep getting in new stock. So they've got to constantly be updating their products on their platforms. 
And now, with social distancing, we can't go to a product photographer. So, why doesn't Mel offer an online product photography course teaching people with online shops how to do it themselves so that they can make their own professional images using their own phones? So, bad images equals less sales and means less income. And if we had to outsource the product photography, which Melissa can do, you can send her, you can post them out to, to her and she will take photos and then she will post them back to you. So there's time, there's energy, there's effort in that. And not only that, but you're gonna pay $250 and these are sort of guesstimates here because it does vary, but $250 for 10 photos. And say you change your products four times a year. Okay, it's going to cost you $1,000 a year just for 40 images throughout the year. Or you can learn to do it yourself. So you could do Mel's online photo product photography course and for $500 you can constantly create images, as many as you like. You can even rebrand, change your images, change your products, change your, even change it seasonally if you like because now you know how to professionally take photos yourself. And here are some unprofessional images, okay? So these are some images over here, uh, which if you, know, you uploaded these onto Instagram, onto Facebook, they're shadows, they're all crinkly, the background's not good, the lighting's not good, they're all twisted. Um, you know, this is an attempt of somebody trying to, ta to take a photo of earrings. Or alternatively, depending on your brand, you can go and you can make them really spiffy, okay? And you can charge more for those photos and you can make as many photos whenever you like. So that was myth number one. So myth number two is you have to spend hours and hours on Facebook, okay? Um, and actually got a good statistic. Uh, the average person checks Facebook eight times per day. So be honest, if you're brave enough, in the chat box, uh, put in whether or not you think you check, check Facebook more or less than eight times per day. Just be honest. That would be amazing. Cool. Let's just see now. Yeah, cool. Cool. All right, cool. At the end of the day, to tell you the truth, I don't care how much you, t you check Facebook or how much time you spend on Facebook. If it's generating you results um, and it's worth your money, so you're getting a return on your investment and your investment is time, uh, you can check it as much as you like. Uh, but it'll be en enjoyable. Okay, so hours and hours. So this is what you would be doing if you were spending hours and hours on Facebook. Endless, uncertain posting of content. Staring blankly at the screen having meaningless conversations that are going nowhere. I have so many meaningless conversations on Facebook um, and now I have to actually qualify those conversations so that I don't waste my time. Um, what I am upset about is that everybody seems to be picked up more than I get picked up on Facebook, which is really weird. No one ever picks me up. I don't get any of those flirty ones that everyone else gets, which, is, which either means I'm very clearly that I'm in a relationship or not looking for it or my privacy settings are set up properly and I know how to use them. Um, but I don't get hit on, which is a bit weird. Um, but random messaging, uh, yeah, I do look in my other folders, <laughs> um, random messaging, uncomfortable lives that you hate doing, those are, those are my worst, um, technology which stresses you out, um, and trying to sell while homeschooling. Oh my gosh, I've got three teenage girls doing high school stuff at the moment, and every Monday all their work comes into my inbox, and I'm trying to run a business, and they're sucking my Wi-Fi, which is not cool. Um, and here we are, three teen girls. I'm addicted to exercise. I love being outside. Um, I, don't, I actually don't like doing this. I have a dog that needs running sometimes twice a day because that's what I like to do. Um, and he likes it too. Um, I have a partner I love spending time with. Um, and I, so I do what I need to do on Facebook to get a result as quickly as possible. And it means having a simple strategy. So you know where they are on Facebook. You know what to say. You have a desirable offer that they can't refuse. So all you've got to do is spend 20 minutes a day following your action plan to get a yes, which is really cool. Um, 
Okay, this one over here is really important. You follow one income producing strategy, which you follow to get a result. It's not selling when they want your offer. So it's not a sell. So when I offer my Let's Chat calls and people call me um, to see if they want to work with me, I don't necessarily have to do a hard sell because they already know what it is that I'm offering because I've effectively communicated it and the offer is desirable to them. So when they come on there, it's just a case of really, what is the next process? How do I take your money? Okay. And how do I deliver it to you? I hate selling. It's my absolute worst. So here's just a few testimonials and stuff. So showing social proof is incredibly important as well. But, you know, so much value for your business in such a short amount of time. Great insights into potential markets you'd never considered. Uh, really seeing results in my menopause coaching business uh, with my Facebook group and discovery calls. Uh, fixing my business page so that it works better. Uh, Chantal has given us clarity, shown us physically how to do things so that we can keep our marketing in-house and not have to outsource it. Uh, and they actually have a team. And the last one is help me grow and expand my business, helped me with my marketing, running events, programs, prices, literally everything. And myth number three, um, and I used this example in my last webinar, but it's a true story and it happened recently because all of you saw us buy our boats, so we're busy, you know. And good news, guys, recreational boating is allowed from Saturday. Okay, so let's a bit of fun in that. So if anyone is going to be recreational boating, uh, put a comment in there below if you're a recreational boater. Uh, and if any of you scurf, uh, let me know. Uh, with the fellow scurfers, uh, if you don't know what that is, that's surfing. That is skiing on the back of a surfboard. So that's my new thing that I took up during COVID and I can start scurfing again next week. So if any of you are scurfers and can offer me feedback, please do it. Um, so leaving it to someone else. So I went into Anaconda. We were looking for a boat seat. We saw that Anaconda had it. When I went in, the guy said to me, oh, we, this sh shop, this particular store doesn't stock it. So I said, could you check one of the other anacondas? And he said, why don't you go to BCF around the corner? They have it. Okay. And this is the thing. Do we really want to leave it to someone else? And here's why. Do you want to trust your leads with somebody else? Do you want to outsource it to copywriters and trust them with your words? Do you want to give it to a VA? By the time we've told the VA what to do, you could have probably done it yourself. Uh, Facebook ads. Um, if you go onto my Facebook, uh, if you go onto not my Facebook, if you go onto my website, chantelgerardi.com.au, uh, there is a blog in there which shows you the I think it's the nine reasons why why your Facebook ads won't work, and it's basically what you need to do to consider to get your Facebook ads working for you. Um, and the next webinar is going to be on that: how to prepare yourself for Facebook ads. So be sure to attend that one. Um, we'll register for that one. Um, well, are we going to give it to a social media manager, your daughter, your wife, your accountant? Uh, because believe it or not, I've had somebody attend a meeting who was the accountant for a business and that company had given their accountant the job of doing their social media. Okay. Do they value your business, your clients, your prospects as much as you do? You do? Okay. Does their bread and butter depend on getting you that client? Do they have skin in the game? The risk that you have, do they have that risk? No, they don't. Uh, they're getting paid regardless. Uh, another example that I have at the moment is, um, uh, it'll come back to me now. Da, 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 da. Oh, a hypnotherapist, a hypnotherapist at the moment, who's, I'm obviously on their email list, has been sending me emails. And as soon as COVID hit, hit suddenly I was getting, the, I'm a now a video marketer, this is what I do. Um, and is trying to sell people into their program. So are they generalists or are they expertise? Or right now, are they just trying to, um, are they scrambling? Um, I had a, an argument online with another social media marketer, social media marketer, who insisted that hashtags are for Facebook and was trying to tell all my clients who were in a thread that you use, you use hashtags on Facebook, uh, which you don't. In order to grow your page, you use an app and your page to send people there. So I feel sorry for business owners who trust other people. It's probably a good idea that we understand these concepts yourself. So why do I feel like you're the best person for the job? Well, to tell you the truth, you know your business best. Um, you know your business best, you know your customers best, you know you are passionate about what you do and it resonates in everything that you say. So when you are doing your own social media, that, 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 
seeps through and people can feel that. They can get an essence of who you are. And especially if you're the person who's going to be working with those people. You are the expert in your business. Um, and when you have someone who's not the expert in their business uh, and they are trying to engage on your behalf, it simply does not work. Um, and my absolute favorite, um, you're probably the one that they'll be working with. So it's really your relationship. It's kind of like if you're on Tinder and you're looking to meet someone, it's kind of like sending your VA to the first initial dates and getting them to go to the first couple of dates and checking them and seeing how they are and then going, okay, you can move to the next level. Um, I would say you're going to get a flat no. Uh, thanks, Sharon, for sharing. Yep, had, had my niece do it and it was a big failure. Yep, so if anybody's had a failure outsourcing it to somebody else uh, and spending a lot of money doing it, yep, share your stories because I hear them all the time. People do full circles and they end up coming back to me. It's better to invest in yourself. So again, this is Alison. She's a kinesiologist, so I'm going to show you. Um, limited Facebook knowledge, random posting, not specific with her business identity, meaning she couldn't effectively communicate it. She's actually lovely and she's such an introvert. Um, and she's actually recently just started doing Facebook Lives on her page, which is really cool. No website, no newsletter, no online shop, uh, only word of mouth referrals. Um, and yeah, it was no marketing knowledge, no plan. Uh, so really my ideal client, people I love working with. But life outside of her, she's actually now created her own range of products as well. Um, she understands everything, profile pages, social media links, her story, her pitch. So she's found her voice online, which is really cool. She understands groups and how they work. More important, she loves the accountability of working with a, co a coach because she has goals and direction. She understands her points of difference. Um, she's identified her clients, her pain points, resolved the issues, created her pitches, worked out what a discovery call is and how to actually convert clients in that call and is also now using email marketing to nurture and funnel clients. Uh, she's turned her dream into a reality because she now has, as I said, her website and her online scheduling and it's all automated uh, and everything's all streamlined and professional looking. Uh, she says still working on her time management skills, uh, but certainly not spending all her time on there. Uh, but she says that she, you know, her confidence has given her the, um, it's given her the confidence to expand to online sessions and to streamline the entire online process. We were rushed to do that, I must say. She was working with me and then COVID hit, so we did have to uh, hurry up and move along a couple of those sessions. And it's one of the reasons why I'm giving away um, additional hours with me at the moment. Um, but personally, she's grown a lot, which is really cool, personally uh, as well as professionally. But I want to show you some of the results. So these are the back end results over here. So it is important to show people these. And you may not know this, but you have these in the back of your Facebook as well. Okay. Um, you know, four actions on the page. Are you having a look and seeing? Are you getting actions on your page? Are people hitting the call to action button? And are they actually following through with that? Because if they're not, something could be broken. You want to be looking, you know, are people engaging? Is your post engagement a reach going up? Um, this one over here is incredibly important. And I, some of you, if, none of, if, if you have not seen this before and you're brave enough to admit that you've never seen this before in your insights, please let us know. But this shows us here, you know, who's clicking onto your website, who's clicking onto your phone, who's clicking uh, onto your action button. So if you have a look over here, the website clicks is the green. Those are people clicking to her website. But more importantly, the action button click. So these are ones that are booking calls with her okay is the orange going and booking calls in an online system which we've integrated in the last 28 days had 156 messenger con connections so these are people messaging her through her facebook page making inquiries and five are new which is really cool five new inquiries and to tell you the truth that that's actually down 38 percent um i did take these pictures of the last 28 days. So um, they are honest background insights from her. So thank you, Alison, for letting us share those. So let me ask you, all right, you've learned some really good stuff. Who's learned something today? If you're shocked by something or learned something today, please put in the chat box below because I'd love to see if somebody did actually learn something today. Okay, let's just have a look. There's a chat box. Just see. Yep. Anything that was absolutely wowish, that would be awesome, okay? And the reason that you're here today is because you probably would like some help. 
So some of you may wish to hear this, some of you probably would not, um, and some of you may be aware of the programs that I offer. But I would like to also offer you today uh, my desirable offer, if you don't mind. Um, but there's two types of people, those who are willing to invest, to change what they're doing so that they could be up and running more confidently and get an actual result, or those who will walk away today, wake up tomorrow and do the same thing they usually do. Okay. For those of you who registered today, you showed up because uh, you've recognized that you may wish to have some help. And I'm here and I would love to help you. This is what I love doing. And we have a special offer. So just to show you how I've put together this desirable offer based on what it is that people are needing right now. And this is my Facebook one-on-one -on -one mastery program. My mastery program includes four hours one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. It also includes my do-it-yourself Facebook marketing program, which is unlimited access. Now, these are video modules which you can access whenever you like. Um, and they encompass absolutely everything that there is about Facebook. So if you forget something, it's in there. Eight weeks in my online weekly group training. So if anyone is on the call today and you are part of my VIP mastermind, which is on a Monday at one o'clock, could you share uh, to the strangers on here today? Um, if you've learned anything in those groups or how you found them, that'll be really cool. But my mastery program includes eight weeks. So please hang on because I'm actually bonusing all of this. I'm giving away extra to make it even more super, super desirable. But I want you to imagine that even if you just did this mastery program and if you only got one client a month, which I would hope that you would get a client a month for $1,000, that that would give you an additional $12,000 per year. Okay, now obviously this is a guesstimate because all of you have got different desirable offers. That's a total value of almost $15,000. But we're going to throw in additional offers. Now this is how we make something desirable. This is how we stack it. Okay, it's called stacking an offer, making it desirable. So on top of it, I'm going to throw in an additional two hours one-on-one -on -one coaching. Because as I said, right now business owners are needing additional time sorting out their online stuff. I'm also going to throw in the do-it-yourself Facebook ads program, which is 10 modules, um, 10 modules as well, which is the do-it-yourself Facebook ads program. Because once you've mastered your organic strategy and you're actually getting clients organically, that is the only time then that you may wish to explore Facebook ad uh, advertising. I'm then going to throw in 10 months of the online weekly group training. So instead of you just getting eight weeks, you're actually going to get a whole year of access to the weekly group training, which is on a Monday at one. Now, I know, for example, it may not be possible for everyone because I know Karen mentioned before that she would be busy at that time. However, you can still ask your questions. Those questions are still answered live on a Monday at one o'clock and all those recordings are then put into that group and with a detailed description of what's in there so you can access them at any time. So for example, we did one on how to do an organic competition, how to run an organic unpaid competition on Facebook. Um, so you go in and look for that inside the group and have access to that. And on top of it, I've sold my secret weapon <laughs> and I'm giving away four hours with my VA. So I'm actually gonna pay for you to use my VA for four hours of whatever. So whether or not that is integrating your payment systems, uh, setting up your contact us form, a landing page, uh, being able to take payment online, whatever that four hours is, uh, you can have four hours with my secret weapon because right now, as I said, that is a pain point for people. They are needing that and everyone else is charging through the roof or else they can't trust someone else to do it effectively. So I'm going to give you my secret weapon for four hours to make sure that you can set up those things. Let's have a look. Um, so that bonus value is two and a half thousand dollars. All right. So just to recap, and again, this again is just showing you how we make something irresistible, how we make it desirable, and how we stack it. So four hours is what you usually get. You're getting an extra two. You're going to get the do-it-yourself Facebook marketing program, but you're also going to get the do-it-yourself Facebook ads program as well. You're going to get not eight weeks access to the weekly group training, but basically an entire year of weekly group training as well. And even if you only just got one extra client of $1,000 per month, that's $12,000 per year. I'm also selling you my secret weapon. That's a total value of $17,500. So 
But who is this for? Because it's not for everyone. And that's cool. Like I said, there's someone for everyone. You recognize the importance of adapting your online offer so it sells on Facebook because you have to adapt things, okay? Something has to change in order for something to change. You see Facebook as a crucial tool to get clients and grow your, biz your brand. You are ready to have a professional online business you can confidently run, and you are coachable and willing to implement something to be successful. And you're serious about investing in your own marketing, your client generation for your business growth. The bottom line is, those who step up adapt will make money during COVID. Uh, it took me three years of frustration, time wasting, costly mistakes, a lot of WAF cam, which is waste of fucking time and money, to eventually learn how to get Facebook to work for me and have a system in place. And guys, it's only working if you're actually getting clients from it. Within a few hours of working one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, you, and a little bit of hand-holding, <laughs> you can confidently have it set up, and not only that, but a year of weekly support online so that we can make sure that you are testing, trialing, adapting to get this working for you. And for today, we're selling this at $2,000. So how, oh my gosh, how can you have all of that with the additional bonuses? And obviously they are gonna expire uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, 5 p.m. The way to do this is to basically take a screenshot of that absolutely horrific URL, uh, or alternatively, you can just click on it and it will take you across to the page and you can keep that there for later. Wow. And if I can find my PowerPoint now, there we go. So take a screenshot, you can click on it, it will take you to that page where you can purchase that now. Whatever your biggest challenge is, I have seen it. There's Karen. Um, I have seen it, I've overcome it and I can help you. And it's different for everyone. I understand it may not be for everyone. There are only four of these available and it does expire tomorrow at 5 p.m. I can only work with, if I'm giving away those additional hours, there's just no way that I can actually, um, that I can take on more than this right now. Uh, and yes, this will be going out to my database. So if this is for you, once again, I do encourage you to click on this, copy paste it, open up a new browser, and go check out that landing page because I've made it easy for you to take advantage of that offer right now. And as I said, uh, I am selling my VA as well. So you hope, I'm sure you will be a nice person. <laughs> and we've attracted the right person here today. So it may not be for everyone, like I said. So if you need to get clients and make sales and you want to get Facebook to work for you, uh, and you need to do it without the overwhelm, the frustration, and in the quickest amount of time, maybe it's time to get some help. Uh, so you can either buy it now. As I said, there are four available. It does expire Wednesday, 5 p.m. That offer of all those additional hours. So that Facebook Mastery Program is still available, but you will not get all those additional bonuses um, as well. And as I said, people are needing that additional time with me right now. Um, and you can book a call with me on my website as well. So I do encourage you uh, to consider it right now. Uh, two more testimonials just to see. but. Over here, we've actually got another photographer, uh, but she's taught us how to speak to our clients in order to, for them to make us purchase our highest packages rather than our lowest. Uh, and Lexi was pretty cool. She was actually sold out in the first year. She had a waiting list, which was wild. Um, and she was scrambling, selling small little offers, um, but we helped her niche that. Uh, this was before COVID, obviously. And then to Karen as, Karen as well, uh, who's one of my absolute raving fans and such a lovely lady. But stop hesitating, procrastinating, coming up with excuses like I did, and caution tell you won't regret it. So here is that link again. As I said, you can copy paste it um, or click onto it. I'll just see if I can get it for you as well. Well, let's see. It will take you to this landing page, which is nice and simple for you. And I can put it in the chat box for you too, which I will do now. Have a look. There we go. Oh, that link's not going to work, I don't think. Yeah, so no worry, guys. Thank you so much. And I do understand some of you had to go, which is, which is perfectly okay. If anybody has any questions, would you like to ask? I'm more than happy. If you want me to go over your desirable offer with you, I'm happy to give you some of my insight here as well. Um, as I said, 
this call has been recorded and it is obviously um, going to be sent out as well. However, if it is something private that you'd like to discuss about or you'd like me to look at your offer, please feel free to book a call on my website as well. More than happy to go over uh, what you're doing right now and see if there's a potential for us to work together. Um, however, as I said, there are only four of those offers available right now if you are interested. Um, if anyone has any questions, I don't know why that's not the link. If you could please just enter it into the box for me, that would be amazing. If anybody learned anything today, if you'd like to share that with us, that would be really cool. If anyone has any questions to ask Mel, I think she's still there. So if you'd like to ask Mel any questions as well. And here is that link, uh, sorry, I was having difficulties. Uh, Mar Mari and Jeff, the recording, you guys are in the VIP Mastermind Weekly Training Group. So the recording will be in there for you guys to access. Uh, this recording will go out to my database. And this is why I said to you to take screenshots of it because it will, be, uh, will go out to my database for $27. And the reason is we've decided not to give it away for free this time around because I've had other marketers accessing my videos and trying to copy and not attending my live webinars. So um, I have a, uh, an email marketing system which tells me who is looking at my emails and who's opening and clicking on what. So um, we have now decided that if people do not attend live, um, I will be giving it to my community. So anybody who really works with me, I will have access to it uh, in my, my mastermind group, into my ideal clients as well. Uh, and, um, but unfortunately, we will be charging $27 to everybody else. Thank you so much, uh, Sharon, for attending today. Teresa, thank you. Uh, Samika, I hope I've said that correctly. Chris, Christiana, oh, my South African, uh, South African Australian struggles with all these interesting names. Um, so you teach about lookalike audiences, etc. cetera. Um, Moana, are you talking about in Facebook advertising or are you talking about in organic? In organic. And feel free to unmute yourself. Uh, in advertising. So yes, 100% Moana. So, um, and tonight, if any of you are available, I am presenting on Nick Cree on how to create, um, how to get free leads with Facebook. I am presenting for Nick Cree tonight in, at, on his meetup. Uh, which is business owners smashing it online. So if you'd like to hear me present on that tonight, that's what I'm doing. I've been very busy today. Um, but yes, part of, and you'll hear me mention that tonight, if your organic strategy is not working, it doesn't matter how much money you throw at it, it's not going to work, okay? I want you to think about a lady of the night, okay? If you have a lady of the night and she's out there and she's dressed like a tart, uh, and she's, she's trying to sell her wares on the, the worst place, you know, the, the, and she's trying to sell her wares in a, in a nice area of people hoping to get their money. Chances are she's not going to get their money. Now, it doesn't matter if she's still got no teeth, uh, bad hairdo, and she goes and puts a fancy outfit on, uh, and she still goes and stands on that street, it's still not going to work. So it is important for us to make sure that your audience organically is right, your offer is right, that you've gone into those insights that I showed you earlier, that you've gone in and you're looking, and I will be showing that tonight as well in the presentation I'm doing with Nick Cree. Um, but if you go and you have a look at that as well, you will see I am gonna show the insights. You wanna make sure that you're looking at the people who are engaging, the people who are on your, on your page. And are they the right people? Because if they're not the right people, it's not gonna sell. So if, for example, uh, you are selling dog toys um, and you are part of, and you have massive allergies and you belong to all these allergy and asthmatic Facebook groups and you keep going into the as allergy and asthmatic Facebook groups and putting your page there and sending them to buy your dog toys, chances are that it's not going to sell because they only going to have, I think it's the one, there's one poodle that's an anti-allergy dog or a reduced allergy dog. And if they're the ones liking your Facebook page, it doesn't matter how well your offer is on that page, it's still not gonna sell. So lookalike audiences, 100%, they are incredibly important. But if you're not getting the right people in real life, it's not gonna work. So for example, if you're giving out free content all the time and you are attracting people who will only ever come and, and download your free content, 
uh, and they will never pay for anything, chances are they will never pay for anything. Now, they, they, do serve a, they do serve a purpose. They become cheerleaders or raving fans, and it is important to have cheerleaders and raving fans. They're the people who rah, rah, and talk about how amazing you are online, and they tag you in things, so they do serve a purpose. However, we want to make sure that the people that you're getting onto those calls are actually going to pay you at the end of everything. Um, and we want to make sure that we're not giving away um, too many freebies. So for those of you who may then go, well, you gave away this webinar for free. You know, what's the story, Chantel? Uh, well, I'll, I'll tell you because I, I, I'm a marketer and I'm prepared, prepared to tell you what my strategy is. This is to build my list. We had 40 people today register. So the people who register for the, this webinar today was put in groups with people uh, who have money to spend and invest in their marketing. They are people that already somewhat know, like, and trust me, we had a few strangers on here today, but they would have been touched by me in some way. Um, and they have gone onto my database now. So they will go into an email nurture sequence where I will develop a relationship with them through my email, give them more value, offer them a call to work with me. And if ever they are struggling on Facebook, they will reach out and use my services. Uh, and, and when you say my services, will it be my $2,000 offer? Maybe not. Maybe it will be just a Facebook audit, which is $247. Maybe it'll be my 14-day Facebook content program, which is $47. Um, maybe it'll be my VIP group, which is $97 per month. So there are they're basically two different, high and a low, depending on what people can come in on. So we need to make sure that those offers are there. But we're putting the right offer in front of the right person. So audience is so important, Moana. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Um, but if you're not clear on that organically, and if you have not already got, do you know what a lookalike audience is? A lookalike audience is like already what you've got, like what's the common denominator? So like I said, if you're already selling dog toys and yet all you're doing is mixing with people that have allergies and asthma online and don't have dogs, that's going to be your lookalike audience. So <laughs> I think sometimes people just go, yeah, look at that audience. But I think if we stop for a moment and just consider what that means, we really need to get that organic strategy right first before we even think of anything else. Um, so if anyone has any feedback with regards to that, I know we are over time, but I'm happy to stay here. Um, oh, the tech side of ads. Yeah, okay. So the tech side of ads, I will tell you right now, okay, if you are on this call right now, chances are you're good at what you do. Chances are that you're a creator and chances are you like to serve people. Guess what? Facebook ads people are analytical. They are technical. They are data-based. They are two different people. So the reason what I believe is your strategy should be your strategy and then you should get a Facebook ads person who has the technical know-how to implement what it is that you know is going to work. They are not the same brain. That is my belief. That is what I've tested and trialed. They are not the same brain. So even if I showed you how, would you enjoy it? Would it light your fire? No. Would you like to sit there for hours analyzing the data? Hell freaking no. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't like it. But if you have the strategy and you know someone's good at Facebook ads and they're good at data analysis and they're good at doing it, then you could literally tell them what to do and they can do it. They're a different brain. Any Facebook advertiser who tells you that they're the same brain, I don't believe it. They will have someone else that they've outsourced that technical stuff to. And I just call it how it is. That's the South African in me, um, <laughs> to honest. So uh, any other questions? And does that answer your question, Moana? Yeah, cool. Uh, any other questions here? Well, we've got anyone else here? Literally two minutes. If anyone else does have a question or some feedback, I'm happy to answer it. That'll be really cool. So yeah, guys, thank you so much again for attending today. And as I said, I'd love to, you to either book that call with me uh, or alternatively, um, as I said, we do have four of those offers available or book a call or alternatively, just check out for me in your inbox because you will be going through my nurture sequence. Uh, thanks so much, guys, for taking the time today. And um, yeah, it was great to have you all on today. Thank you so much. Have an amazing, is today Wednesday? Tuesday. Have an amazing Tuesday. <laughs> See ya.